All right, guys, we just woke up. It's pretty cold out there, and we're gonna finish the drive now. When I was rolling up my mat, I actually found a scorpion underneath it. And I didn't feel like filming it because I was tired, but yeah, that was pretty funny. Derek with the first spot of the trip. It's not a herp, but it is a rather interesting creature. It's like a javelina or something like that. What is that, another one back there too, laying down? No, that's a rock. Okay, that's just a rock. Here, buddy, you eat chips? Oh. Okay, chips, scare him. No chip, I guess. Interesting. Ants? After finished packing up for the day, made myself a PB and J, uh, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. Do a bit of hiking. Hopefully, find something cool right now. Some sort of flowering cactus here. It's absolutely gorgeous. It looks like some kind of acacia, but I'm not sure. Maybe a choya. I don't know. So I've got some old uh, Native American petroglyphs over here on the rocks. Pretty cool. What the hell? That is a weird little... Oh, it's a beetle? Is it a beetle? Yeah, it's a beetle. Oh, is it? Yeah. I hope it's so. some sort of weird beetle. <laughs> Doesn't seem very to want to be picked up, but... And there he goes. Very interesting. Indeed. Yeah, there's a couple of whip tails. I've seen oh, some there's some more of those beetles. Another one right here. We're gonna see if we could get a better look at it, but we might not be able to. A Gila just started into this bush. Wow, that's so dope. No way. We're gonna see if he comes out. It's a protected species. Him. We're not allowed to touch it, so we're just gonna sit here and wait. I see him. Over. All right, guys. Well, Mr. Gila is bing chilling. It looks like he's actually just enjoying this nice sunlight here. He could not be uh, bothered by us if we tried. Just big old chill lizard. It's awesome. Coolest, uh, coolest herp I've ever found. It appears our friend is leaving now. And as he is a protected species, if he goes into a hole, there's nothing we can do about it. Honestly, man. we've been in, we've been hiking in Arizona 40 minutes now and found one. Last time we were here a week and didn't see one. So I have a feeling that this is just the time of year for him. And, and wow, guys, would you just look at how well he camouflages in that bush? Wow. It's crazy to see a lot of these animals that are extremely brightly colored in pattern that we see. Like king snakes, too. You wouldn't expect them to be well camouflaged, but man, if you... When, when you see them in their habitat, it's it's un, it's incredible. You make a good point there, Derek. A Gila monster looks like the dumbest thing ever when you see it out in the open. But when you see it in those bushes, I mean, shit, you can... Where's the Gila monster? Can you guys even see it? Maybe a couple scales, but he's gone. It's amazing. Amazing lizards. Truly one of America's greatest reptiles. Well, guys, it feels incredible. I just I can't walk away right now because this is the thing. We drove all the way out here. We spent all this money, drove all these hours, and in 40 minutes, we found our number one target. Makes me feel pretty good because honestly, when we showed up, things were seeming pretty bleak. It just didn't feel like a good day until we found this guy. So... We're gonna keep moving, regrettably. I uh, wish we could spend more time with this guy, but I don't wanna stress him out. And he seems to found a nice hidey hole. So we're gonna keep moving and hopefully see a few more. But if not, I am so incredibly grateful for the experience we gotta have right now with this lizard. I'm so happy we gotta actually see one out doing its thing in broad daylight. Doesn't get cooler than that. We found the one thing we wanted to here. So honestly, we're gonna just turn around while we still have plenty of time. And we're gonna head up to the local mountains and look for some Arizona black rattlesnakes. Derek here really wants to see them. I think they're pretty neat too. So we're gonna go give that a shot. Could pull pyro. Good. Probably not, but could. Maybe a garter or something. Who the hell knows? Either way, it took us 40 minutes to find what we were looking for here. Why screw around any longer? Let's keep moving 
and uh, hopefully we'll be updating you with yet another lifer. My main goal for this trip was finding the lifer we just did. Ideally, I'd want to get any lifer, but I would have been happy with realistically anything. What's this? Uh, whip tail? Probably another one in there, I hear. But yeah, we're, uh, we just feel like we already won on this trip because that was the one thing we were looking for. And so now we're just going to enjoy the rest of the trip. It's all gravy from here. Look at this. I know all the butterflies. This rock feature is pretty dope. Seen a few now. All you can see is the one distinguishing factor, but I mean, look at the tail. It says it all. It's a zebra tail lizard. Seen a few. They're uh, pretty quick. And that's probably the best look we're going to get at them for today. Maybe we'll get lucky and see another, but probably not. Yeah, this heat. We, we don't have a whole lot of space to hike out of here, so that's fine though. We saw a couple. Found the main lizard target, and now it's time to go look for some Arizona blacks. Straight plateau lizards, three of them at least, and they're stuck. <laughs> four of them at least. One, what? two, three, four. All right, well, help the striped ape lizards out. <laughs> they're, they're pretty cold. They don't, they don't seem to mind. They've probably been down there for a while. Yes, they probably are frigid. Dumbasses. <laughs> things. Sounds like see, a bit of a skill issue going on there. That was but... a bit of a skill issue, honestly. Like half of them are gonna run straight back in there. You just know it, but. All right, well, that is cool. So the top I guess it is a life different than oh. the, the ones we got back home. Well, all right, you I'll take it. You have to free until you run back into, the... back into some other hole. We're going to go uh, look for some black tails and mountain kings, and hopefully we could turn up something. Either way, we're already stoked. Got what we were looking for for today, so if we find something else, it's just gravy. Oh, I want to photograph this guy, if you don't mind. Not at all. What is it? What is it? Madrean alligator lizard? <sighs> I think it's just Arizona now. Okay. Uh, Arizona or Madrean alligator lizard. There you go, guys. Another life for one we missed last time that we really wanted to see. The Arizona or Madrean alligator lizard. I forget what it, which one it is technically now, but. <laughs> and he is lively. He is lively. Very We're going nice. to take a few shots of him. Let him go. How do you like that, guys? They look real nice. It looks like the Panamints, kind of. Yeah, they look like the Panamints. That's neat. At this rate, guys, this might just become a lizarding trip. I'm sure we're still going to see some cool snakes, but I mean, if we keep finding life or lizards like this, shit, we might just have to make that the focus. I mean, two life or lizards today, and it's barely even 12. We've still got five or so hours up here, and then it's uh, back down to the desert to do some night hiking. So uh, we'll update you guys when we find our next herp. Unsurprisingly, the reason why I didn't get a very good look at that last one is because there's another one right here, a few rocks later. Stuff's out, stuff's moving, and we're gonna keep looking. Pretty cool though, different species of gator, that's awesome. Uh, we've been at it for a little while, found a nice little pool here, and it's got a pretty good sized fish in it that I'm going to try to catch. Or at least scare back out into the open so we could uh, get some video of it. So Thomas just pulled this nice big crayfish, crawdad, probably pulled a lot of different things. Check this out. It's got eggs. So I don't want to jeopardize that, so just toss it right back. like under this rock somehow all right so Derek's got another crawfish here I was uh, not successful at all in catching that fish I mean I I, I kind of did catch him I just couldn't get him out of the crack he was in he was wedged too tightly for me to pull him out so we let him be but uh, yeah ow there he goes oh yeah there's the spice Let's see what he does in the water. Nothing. All right, there you go. About what you'd expect. Oh, what the hell? It's got a little goatee on it, too. 
I don't, I don't know why, guys, but it, it seems like no matter where I go, I always find some sort of old, disgusting doll. I need, I really need to start documenting it more because it happens literally every time. All right, we're gonna keep moving. We're done at this place. And we're gonna go back to the desert after we eat. And uh, hopefully pull a coral snake immediately. Right, Derek? Coral snake immediately? That's what you said. All right. I will be holding that against you in the court of law. So it shall be. We just looked for some weird frog we heard. That thing sounded like a goat. It's going, bah, bah. no idea what it was. But uh, we could not find it, so we keep moving. I hope the camera's picking this up. We hear another billy goat frog. What the hell makes that noise? Surely that's no canyon tree frog, right? I say that it probably is. This is that little pond up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go investigate. Oh my god, I can hear a bunch of them. What the hell? They're over here somewhere. I have to be very pro. Oh, I see one. It's Canyon Tree Frog. Yes, really. Look at it, it's right there. Go. Well, All right, guys, Derek's gonna test this theory. I caught the canyon tree frog. Dude, my phone's at 1%. If you're gonna do it, just fall. Hopefully it actually catches this. Oh my God, he did it. With Barely. Foot to spare. Barely though. You had to lean into that one pretty heavy. Here you go. I'm, I'm just gonna take a picture of him. All right, guys, I'm gonna let him go. There's a bunch more here, but uh, pretty cool. Uh, he's Bing One of them's coming up right here in the green shit. He's Bing Chilini, oh, guys. Oh shit, this is it's extremely slippery. Uh, yeah, I tried to tell you. Alright, well that's cool. I gotta charge my phone and we're gonna head to the next spot. Oh, I got one. Look at that axe. Come on, bro. You can't be so, like, walking around with so much of a dump truck. Whoa, that one's real brown. Uh, <laughs> then didn't you go? Oh, that's funny. All right, we are back <coughs> to the side of the Gila from earlier. And uh, we're gonna start looking around, see if we can find another, hopefully a coral or something different. But uh, yeah, we'll update you guys when we see something. I don't think it'll be too, too long. Well guys, we're just hiking about out here, trying to see what we can drum up been at it for at least 30 minutes now and so far nothing but I want to keep trying and hopefully we roll up on something soon here uh, the lighting is not ideal but you guys can see it's a night snake it's, it's really nothing exciting hey it is exciting okay first snake of the trip it took us 12 hours okay it did take us nice 12 snake. hours and he's a little one he's a little guy What's up, but dude? it is a night snake Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So we're gonna help this little dude across the road. I'm gonna keep searching. I am actually, honestly, extremely happy that we finally found something. It's nothing special. It wasn't a snakeless day. It was not a snakeless day. It took us 12 hours, but we got a snake. Very good day. All right. Awesome. Nice. We're gonna let him go, and we're gonna keep heading to the spot we're going because shit's moving. Fuck. Let's just cruise this place. Uh, yeah. All right. Night snake. Into the bushes. Whoa. All right. There he goes. Beautiful.